Man, fuck it, intro, bro. This is the last time I'm trying this shit, bro. I tried to record three videos. I tried to watch some A's and Andy shits. My dumbass phone wanted to talk about screen recording failed when I, like, right after I tried to, um... Holy fuck, I'm... I'm so fucking annoyed I can't even speak, bro. I tried to stop the recording and said screen recording failed for some dumb shit. So I'm just watch this little video right here. It's the Quanville Shire. I was been supposed to react to this shit, but I just been putting it off recently. Go ahead and subscribe to him. We're gonna like this up before we watch it. Let's hop into this shit. Damn. Alright, y'all. I know it's been a long time. But today I got a story to tell y'all. It's about my aunt and how she disappointed me to the point where I almost had to disown her ass. All right, so my <laughs> aunt has been begging me to be able to watch my daughter, right? So I thought the other day I might as well go ahead and give her a chance. So my daughter is a really good girl, you know what I'm saying? Like me and her mom, we raised her to be respectful and to have manners. So I thought this wouldn't be a problem for my aunt to watch her, right? Wrong. Now I'm thinking that because she raised me, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be a problem for her, you know, because I'm an overall good person, you know, just caught an armed robbery charge and... $5,000 behind on child support and living back at home at 28 years old. Look, I'm not the this best nigga. example, but it don't matter. I thought my daughter was going to be good. Now I'm thinking if my daughter gets out of line, my aunt's going to easily just put her in check. And that's why I fucked up. Now, anybody who has kids knows that if you get a kid too excited, they tend to not listen to you. It's like... Hold on, bro. Damn. All right. They become bad, but they don't really listen to everything that you tell them to do. So my daughter and my aunt are just getting back home from Chuck E. Cheese's, right? And my daughter is bouncing off the walls. I'm talking about she is yelling and screaming, so excited. But my uncle is upstairs trying to sleep because he has to go to work tonight. So me, being her father, I'm coming downstairs to tell this little girl to shut the fuck up, right? <laughs> and my aunt tells me midway, I got this under control, go back upstairs. And I'm like, bet. I remember exactly what you used to do to us to try to get us to be quiet when you wanted to. So now I'm just here to observe. Now, like I told y'all, kids tend not to listen whenever they get too excited. But even I wasn't expecting what was about to happen next. Ma goes, shh, Isabella, you have to be quiet because your uncle is upstairs trying to sleep so he can go to work tonight. Bruh, my daughter looked my aunt straight in the eyes and said, no, auntie, you shut up. Oh, no, nah, bruh. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, no. With no type of remorse. When I tell y'all, I flew down them steps so fast. Nick, I felt like I did the instant transmission into the kitchen. And I swear, as soon as I hit that kitchen, I could see clearly now the rain is gone because every single thing in that kitchen turned into a weapon. Bro, I got so bad that I'm over there looking at knives. Like, is this joint dull enough for me to throw at her without her getting stabbed and just get a concussion or something? Damn. Like, Fuck this little girl up. Mom gonna put her hand up like... Whoa. I'm like, what the fuck? You think you Neo from the Matrix or something? You really <laughs> think your hand finna stop me from whooping this little girl ass? She like, I raised you. I know how to raise kids. I got this. I'm like, well, you ain't lying. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you have at it. Cause I'm like, I know the black on who raised me. She finna slap the taste out of her mouth. Like, my nigga, do you not rouse how hard you gotta slap a motherfucker to slap the taste? And nigga, we have 10,000 taste buds. You gotta slap a motherfucker hard as shit to slap every one of those motherfuckers out your mouth. Now, since I done had it happen to me back in the day, I'm ready to see it happen right now. You know what I'm saying? So my aunt leans down into this little girl's face and says, Isabella, you can't talk to your auntie like that. And I'm over here like, I know damn well you ain't that ass. Nigga, you would've American History X curb stomped me if I would've said that shit to you back in the day. You better fuck this little girl up. I ain't even know my daughter could speak this good. This little girl says, Auntie, you don't tell me what to do. I only listen to my daddy. Nigga, what? I'm over there on the sidelines like, let's get ready to rumble. Ain't no way in hell you finna let this slide. So now my heart beating fast as shit. It's pounding through my chest because I'm ready to pounce on this little girl and give her the ass whooping of a lifetime. Now, you know how when you were younger and you were being disobedient and your parents wanted you to listen to them, they would grab your face like this, right? Soon as my aunt put her hand up, I could see exactly where it was going. But I ain't know my daughter could too. Now at this point, I ain't know whether to be proud of her or to jump in and tag team her with my aunt because this little girl dodged that joint so smoothly. I swear this girl knew Ultra Instinct or something. Bro, my aunt's hand started coming towards this girl's face and this little girl was like, boom, and smacked the shit out of her. When I tell y'all, I was so shocked. I couldn't even move. But when I looked down, it was like I knew the force or something because the belt that was in my room just magically appeared in my hand. And I knew what time it was. It was time for me to show her the dark side. Or at least the dark side of this belt. I was ready to get this little girl everything she had coming to her since the beginning of this argument. So I reach in and grab her mom. It's like, no, don't put your hands on her. I'm like, Pfft. what hand do you see this about to touch her? This about to be all belt. I'm about to show this little girl how we went from boys to men. When you come back to me, you finna be down on this bending knee. Fuck you thought this was. Bro, my aunt watched me give this girl a whole new ass. Like, I know she felt like Django when he had to watch his <laughs> wife get whooped. But she deserved this one. So after I was done whooping this girl to every single syllable of every word that I was saying, I'm Damn. sitting there looking at my aunt like... 
You know you done fucked up, right? And ever since then, she ain't never gonna be able to watch my daughter again. Holy, I'm not even about to say nothing. But hey, that's the end of the video. Go ahead and like up the Cornbelt Shires video. Go ahead and subscribe to him. I'm off.